friends. So it's strawberry month. There are lots of different things we can make with strawberries. We can make strawberry smoothies. We can make strawberry jam. We can make strawberry shortcake, strawberry pie. Um, let me think, what else can we use strawberries for? I've used it in all kinds of fruit salads with lots of other melons and apples and pineapple and those are delicious too but you do you know you can put strawberries in salad with lettuce or spinach it's really delicious it adds a little bit of extra freshness and a little zing so today we're going to make a quick spinach salad that you will have the recipe that you can get off the off of our website so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do the basic salad and then we're going to make the dressing this salad is going to be with spinach. Spinach has so many good vitamins in it. And you take about, you can get it in a big bag like this at Emily's Produce. And you get a nice, about three cups of it. And put that into the bowl, just like that. If you want the pieces to be smaller, you can tear them. They always say it's better to tear lettuce than it is to cut it. And if you want to add some other types of lettuce in, you can add some other types of lettuce, maybe some romaine or some um, green leaf or red leaf, just to give it some different texture. And then we're going to add a red onion. We're going to put the whole onion and we're going to make nice little thin strips. You're going to want help from an adult to do this part, but it's fun to work together to make dinner. And your parents would love having your help, I'm sure. So I like putting just really thin little pieces in. Onions have so many layers that you can pull them apart. And that could be your job, is to pull those little layers apart and lay them in there. And the third thing we're gonna add is strawberries. And there's no right or wrong way to cut them just so you don't cut yourself while you're trying to cut them. You don't want to eat the stem, so you want to cut the stem off. And then you can cut them this way into little slivers and place them like that. Or you can even make them into smaller bite-sized pieces if you're worried about the pieces being too big. Cut them in pieces like this. There's no right or wrong way, just the way that you choose to do it. It makes it look nice for your salad, makes it easy for people to eat. Look how pretty that is, a little bit of purple and red and green, it's so pretty. And really that's it for the, for the actual salad and now we're gonna make a quick little dressing. So let's move that over so you can see the dressing. Now for the dressing, it says, the recipe said to use orange juice. I didn't have any orange juice, but I did have an orange. So I just took an orange, cut it in half, and started squeezing it to get the juice. Look at that. Mm, now you know that's really fresh because it came right from the orange. That's a quarter cup. I'm gonna put that in there. And then this is honey. Honey is a nice way to sweeten things. Honey, is, we're gonna put two tablespoons of honey. What's bigger, a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Do you know? This is a tablespoon. And in a minute, we're gonna be using the teaspoon and you'll be able to tell the difference. So we're putting two tablespoons of honey, just like that. And we're also gonna do two tablespoons of oil. So often your dressings will have oil and vinegar. This one doesn't have vinegar. Instead it has honey. And we're gonna put in a little Dijon mustard to give it a little spice. So there's our oil, also two tablespoons. And now our teaspoon. Look at it. Which one's smaller? Definitely the teaspoon, right? We're gonna have two teaspoons, oh, one teaspoon of the mustard. Get that. 
see, I already had this in my refrigerator, so I didn't have to go out and get it. Just about enough. Perfect. And I'm gonna put that in there, stir it around. Just like that. Just to get it off of my spoon there. Okay, I'm gonna go get my salt and pepper. I love how they always say salt and pepper to taste. So it means that there's no right or wrong amount. It's just the amount that you think your family likes to have. You don't want to have too much salt for your body. And then this is called a whisk. And that's really nice to use to stir it all up. And you whisk those together. You mix that oil and honey and mustard salt and pepper. That's it. That wasn't so hard, was it? And then you drizzle that over your salad. That's called drizzling. I don't want to put too much on. And then you can mix it together and you have a delicious, beautiful spring strawberry salad. That's definitely something that you can do at home with your family. It just takes a few ingredients. Give it a try, it's delicious. Mm. See you soon, be safe.